Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning. This we're going to cover the Lariat trim for this uh, this video here. We have covered already the Pro and the XLT uh, versions, and we'll cover the Platinum after this video too. Uh, but we felt like this is to be a good video if you're wanting to know what's standard as well as what's optional and then what's included in that different that other optional package. This video would be very helpful for you. So if you have a reservation out there you're about ready to get that order invite here pretty soon and you're getting close to being in line this is be a great video for you to be able to, to watch and see if the lyric trim exactly what you're looking for and maybe also you know what's included and what is included in different packages so we can cover all that in this video so use the timestamps down below move around in the video all you need to uh, there'll be a couple times where this uh, some of the st stuff is redundant to the other videos that if you've watched them so you're able to move or move around the video and go to the next section if you need to so hopefully this does help you out and uh, don't forget if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can stay notified next with another another video uploaded to your youtube channel um, and also if you do have a reservation with a local dealer um, we are accepting uh transfer ins if you want to transfer your reservation over uh, keep in mind you cannot and you know, once you've ordered the vehicle that order can't be transferred over but if you do have a reservation thinking about ordering you can transfer that over uh, to us if you'd like to we're accepting those transfer ins I would recommend you don't transfer if you're just trying to move up or down on a list. But if in a situation where maybe the dealership isn't honoring MSRP pricing, that kind of thing, uh, we are doing that MSRP pricing on all of our uh, all of our ordered F-150 Lightnings. So keep that in mind. We will accept those uh, transfer ends if you'd like to. Uh, so you can give us a call. We can talk more about that. And we'll talk more about some uh, privilege in a way of free shipping at the end of the video if you're looking to do that as well with us. So again, let's dive right in and talk about some of the mechanical features first. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about some of the mechanical features, but first I kind of want to talk about uh, the build and price and such because it is up and going on the website. So if you are over here, uh, we are kind of on the screen here. Let me kind of show you that. Uh, you can kind of see Ford's website there. So you can go in here at Ford.com and go to Trucks and Vans or you can go to Electrified, either one, and you will see the Ford F-150 Lightning. It does say 22 there, but when you click on the build and price, it is bringing up the 23 information. Uh, so they just need to update that on the, the home page there or that <clears throat> the uh, model page, a drop down. So you are seeing here, there are price increases on the Pro XLT Lariat Platinum. They've all gone up for this year for 23. So just so you know, if you have a 22 uh, F-150 Lightning and yours is scheduled or has, is not scheduled yet as a 22 and that gets end up getting carried over 23, you'll be price protected on your build when it gets carried over 23. You're going to get a basically a private offer that's going to equal the amount of the price increase for your particular vehicle and build. Now, if you're out there and you had the ex you extended your invitation and you had an opportunity to order a 22, but you extended because the Pro version or XLT was sold out, or maybe you were a late um, Wave 7 and even the Lariat was sold out, and you wanted to, you had to extend because of that, you're going to be price protected as well. Now, whatever you chose as the model you're wanting to extend to. Let's say you chose the pro version and you say, I want to extend it and I want a pro version. And that's why I'm extending my res my invitation. You're going to get the private offer for $7,000 based on what you chose at that time. So if you extend it on a pro and then when you get your invite, which have already gone out and you decide you want an XLT, you're going to get the price increase from the pro, not from the XLT, if that makes any sense. Uh, so just want to let point that out for everybody. Now we are going to use Ford's building price here. To give us some ideas on this, now, the reason I am doing this video and saying, well, if I'm going to use the building price and it's already up and running, why do we need to watch your video, Tim? Well, if you go to these uh, view details, which is usually where you see the uh, standard features, you can't scroll down anymore. They would normally be listed under here. Right now, you're, you don't have any of that information. So I'm giving you this information from the build um, by Ford's order guide, which gives us all the information of what's standard and what you get when you go from the XLT on up to the Lariat trim. So that's uh, why I think these videos will be very helpful for you if you're looking to get that. So we are going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to actually click on the Lariat uh, there for you and kind of show you this. We clicked on the standard battery. We'll get into the extended in just a little bit. Now, if you're watching this and you need to watch the Pro and the XLT uh, videos, uh, when talking about mechanical features on the Lariat trim, it's all the same mechanical features that we did see on the Pro in the XLT version. So this is probably where, if you want to, skip ahead to the next next timestamp, which is the safety features. 
there are some new safety features on the Alaric we didn't see on the uh, the Pro or the XLT that you'll want to make sure you watch. But this will be time if you watch the other videos, you can uh, click ahead to that. Now, for those of you that are just watching this video, let's go through the mechanical features for you here. Now, we're going to click on the uh, powertrain here, and we're going to kind of show you this. So these uh, will come standard with the fully box steel frame here which is really nice nice strong sturdy frame same that we did see on the ice version so same high strength steel frame we're going to click on this uh, these uh, motors here so you kind of kind of see that a little bit differently there so there you go and so on this one here the course the, it does come standard with the dual e-motor on the, with the standard battery now the standard battery is a 98 kilowatt per hour usable uh, capacity standard range high voltage battery wording that right from their order guide with the dual e motors uh, as you can see so motor at each of those axles and it's going to become standard and your 4x4 now for this year they have upgraded the standard range to 240 miles uh, as an epa estimated range depending on how you drive <laughs> Um, and that's going to give you target. I didn't mention this information on my other two videos, uh, but it does have a targeted horsepower of 452 horsepower, as you can see there, and 75, 775 pound feet of torque. So, pretty good amount of power there from that. You will get the uh, rear e locking uh, axle for you. You also get the electric engine cooling fans so those cooling fans are going to help cool off these motors and the batteries keeping it cooled now there is a way to get extra cooling fans uh we'll talk about that when we get to optional equipment under the you know, trailer tow package uh but we'll get to that also you get electric parking brake with the auto hold that means if you're at a stoplight stop sign uh, and you want to rest your foot you can have it not a hold and it's going to hold the brake so you can take your foot off the brake there's one other thing you can do as well in your driving experience where you don't even have to press the brake and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit at the end of the mechanical features you do get heavy duty dual front shocks up here and you're going to get front and rear coil springs so that is different so you now you have front and rear independent suspension not just uh, the um the front independent suspension you also get front and rear stabilizer bar as well and you're going to get power steering with e pass electric power assist steering uh, that help really helps out highway and such it's not going to blow you from side to side but allow you to turn a little easier in those parking lots you will get drive modes even on the uh the lightning you're going to get selectable drive modes you have a normal mode you have a sport mode you have a tow haul mode and an off-road so you can take this off-road it is meant to be able to be a built for tough truck take it off-road you can put it in the off-road mode and it helps it's going to change how the response is to the shifting and such uh for the four-wheel drive and for your uh for your uh, uh the uh motor there and everything but uh that just allows for it to be able to handle that so in sport mode like you won't have access to the one pedal driving and such uh just keep that in mind now let's talk about the uh, combo connectors and the charging for the vehicle. It does have a charge port where you can charge on either the stage one, two, or stage three chargers. Um, so uh, you can have that capabilities uh, for any of those chargers. So if DC fast chargers, it takes it and can handle that. Um, and I think it limits it about 150, uh, if I remember right, uh, for that. So um, also, let's see here. One pedal driving is the last thing I wanna talk about. So it does have one pedal driving. Allows you in that mode, if you want to put it in one pedal driving, that you just control the braking and the acceleration um, just by pressing the gas pedal. So if you let go of the gas pedal, it's going to start braking and applying that regenerative braking for you. Um, and that's really cool. I, I love using the one pedal driving, and that's where the auto hold also comes into effect. So if you completely let off, it's going to break the vehicle. And even at the stoplight, you not have the brake pressed or the gas pedal brake. Uh, pressed and you're going to be stopped at that stop line so i love that now something to note for this year i'm going to actually unclick this uh the the mobile charging uh cord there the power cord was was available standard on the lightning last year this year it is an option now for some reason they chose the option on this when we configured it so if that's something you do not want you would make sure you uncheck that uh also when you go to order you might want to think about that as well so that is an optional uh, an option now for this year, $500 for that. Um, so just keep that in mind. It uh, comes with your uh, your 240 volt connector and your 120 volt connector. Uh, and so just just let, letting you know that that's out there. Um, it does mention that the 240 volt will um, allow to charge at 30 amps if you're using that. Um, so just just be aware of that. But that that is something that's optional this year. So. 
That's all the mechanical features. Let's talk about some safety features now. So let's talk about some of the safety features now. And uh, of course, this and uh, first off, the, uh, the biggest safety features, this comes on with the Pro in the XLT and of course to the Lariat is the Ford Copilot 360 2.0 package. Um, and when you go up to the Lariat trim, you go to the Assist 2.0 package. So let me tell you, everything is included in this. Now, normally the Copilot 360 2.0 is gonna give you the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, the Ford, uh, the ped pedestrian detection, forward collision warning and your dynamic brake support so if someone stopped in front of you or you're going a little too fast and you're going to hit them it's going to warn you and let you know the series of tones and a message on your productivity screen letting you know that you need to stop and uh, with this one here it will actually stop if you don't so it's going to initiate that brake for you so usually you see that when you get an adaptive cruise control type of setup which you will get with this as part of the assist package you also do get the bliss with cross traffic alert. So uh, that means if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to alert you and let you know that. Puts a light in the corner of that mirror and lets you know it's not safe to go in that, in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, cross traffic alert means if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to use those same sensors and alert you. The tones that you need to back up and stop, message in a productivity screen, even on your backup camera screen, it's going to show you what direction they're coming from across behind you, which is real nice to have. You also do get the lane keeping system, and this means that when you have, whether you have your cruise set or not, you can have the lane keeping system on. It's going to give you a driver alert. It's going to give you a lane keeping alert or lane keeping aid, or you can use some of those in conjunction with each other. So the driver alert feature is going to alert you and let you know if you've taken your hands off the steering wheel too often. The the drive the lane keeping alert system is going to do is allow you to leave your lane, but it's going to vibrate the steering wheel if you've left your lane. The aid system will let you go over to the line and then bring you back in. Now you can use the aid and alert systems together. What it'll do is when you go over to the line, it'll vibrate the string wheel, will, but still try to bring you within your lane. So you can use those together. Now we also do have the rear view camera. So as you're backing up, you're gonna be able to see behind you. You also do have reverse, the, your, the yes. rear, the reverse sensing system. Uh, sometimes they call it the parking, reverse parking sensors. So when you're backing up, not only are you going to be able to see behind you, but if you get close to anything, it's going to alert you and let you know that by a series of tones that you're getting too close to something. And if you're not paying attention to that and those sensors, then it's going to use the reverse brake assist to stop you if you're going to hit like a bike or a kid or something like that or a pedestrian. Uh, it'll alert you and it'll go ahead and use that reverse brake assist as well. You do have post-collision braking uh, as well. I usually talk about that with a pre-collision assist. I have that in a little alpha here. But post-collision braking means that if you you know get in an accident, maybe you're unconscious, you're not able to put it in park, or you just forget to for some reason because it's a panic and such, it's going to use post-collision braking to let you to stop the vehicle so it doesn't wander off into and into traffic. Also, as part of the Copilot 360 uh, or the Copilot Po. po the, the Copilot 360 uh, 2.0 package, you also get the auto high beams. So that's going to work uh, basically when you're on the highway. It's dark outside. Those high beams will come on. Someone approaches you or you're in the city lights, it's going to turn them off. Now, that is a feature you uh, as well as several of the other features you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen. So a lot of these, you know, your bliss, your lane keeping, aid, uh, even uh, I believe even your um, auto high beams. Uh, some of the pre-collision stuff you can actually activate and deactivate so things that you don't like on you don't want those warnings and everything you can deactivate those now let's talk about the copilot 360 assist 2.0 and the upgrades you get when you go to that package which is included on the lariat trim and the biggest one is that intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go lane centering speed sign recognition all those features there uh, so it's pretty cool how that all works. Now, the uh, you have your traditional cruise control, but on this system, you'll have an adaptive cruise, which means that if you're coming up behind someone, it's going to slow you down to go their speed. And then when you pass them, you're going to speed back up. And even we'll bring you to complete stop if they, maybe both traffics are, are to where you can't get over and you're behind a car and they come to a complete stop. You will as well. They start going. You're going to start going without having to do anything on your hand. It's going to do that. You don't have to press the brake, don't have to press the gas, you know, or even the resume button on your cruise. Uh, so this is something, of course, activated when you have the adaptive cruise control activated. And also it's going to keep you in the center of your lane. So centered instead of using the lane keeping system where it gets lets you go over the lines, this is going to try to keep you in the center of your lane which is really nice so i have noticed with this system if you have it has to be able to see those lane markers if you can see one and not the other it's going to probably hug it's going to kind of go over and hug that side a little bit more than the other side because it doesn't know where that other line is so just so you know that it's looking for that line those lines 
Also, you do have with this system the intelligent part of this, which means it's speed sign recognition. So what's cool about that is if you have this activated, instead of the adaptive, you have the intelligent. Uh, when you're coming up, maybe you're in a speed zone and you're going 70 miles an hour, you have that cruise set. When you come to a 65 mile an hour zone, it's going to slow you down to go 65. Pretty cool. And you can actually set a, a gap for this. So you can uh, choose your tolerance is what they call it. So if you like to go five miles on over the speed limit, choose uh, five. When you hit that 65 zone, it's going to go down to 70. So I've actually had this happen where I had mine set at five miles an hour and I happened to go like four over when I want actually went to, slow, to slower speed. It actually took me to five instead of four, which is what I had my crew set at. So it's pretty cool and how that all works. With this uh, with the assist package, you also get the evasive steering assist. What that means is, you know, if you're not able to stop in time and to brake and so without hitting that car in front of you, if you can turn, if there's, if it's safe to a, a lane beside you, then you can go over to that lane and it's going to assist in that steering for that. So it's still uh, all controlled by the driver. So it won't be activated uh, just because you can't stop and hit that car. You actually have to be turning to activate this. Uh, and so that's how the system will work in, in that type of situation. And that is also a feature you can activate and deactivate too. And you have the intersection assist. So if you're uh, coming up and you're wanting to turn and there's a car coming and you're not paying attention, or maybe they're going really fast and it's a car and it senses that system, it's going to break you so you don't hit that vehicle. Uh, so pretty cool on how that works as well with the intersection assist. So as you can see, a lot of features as part of the Copilot 360 uh, 2.0 uh, or the assist 2.0 package. Uh, a lot of features in there, and those are all standard on the Lariat Tram. Talk about some other safety features that you're uh, also getting. You get the advanced track with roll stability control. So the fancy word, it uses a series of brakes around the vehicle and accelerating those, uh, those wheels, giving more power to some wheels than others if it needs to, to keep you on your intended path. So really nice in how that works. It has a rollover sensor as well. So, you know, it also has curve control that works with that uh, together to help you on those curves if you're going too fast and such. You do get SOS post crash alert system. That's going to honk the horns, flash the lights. If you're in an accident, off the side of the road, so people can come to your safety. You also have 911 assist. So if you have that Bluetooth enabled phone connected, you're able, not able to get to your phone because maybe you're, you know, you're in an accident or something. You are able to call 911 directly. Uh, it knows that you had an accident. It'll pop up and ask if you need uh, 911's help and help call 911 for you if you're not able to get to there or even get to your steering wheel to connect. So it's pretty cool how that works. Also, you do get the audible vehicle alert system. So because you have an electric vehicle, it's quiet. It's a very quiet vehicle. It doesn't have an engine that's running and such, so people may not be able to hear you. So as you're backing up, it's going to use those audible vehicle alert system sounds to let people know that you're that the vehicle is backing up. So a nice, another safety feature that you have. And then lastly, it does have the advanced security package that gives you the passive and a theft system with the inclination and intrusion sensors, as well as the uh, secure lock passive and a theft system. So the way that works is if you have the vehicle locked, you leave the vehicle, no one's inside you lock it up and you leave it's going to set those uh the passive and the theft system on there so what that's going to do is if someone tries to break the glass get inside it's going to set the alarm off and let uh, people know that there's someone in your vehicle the inclination sensors is if somebody tries to take your wheels so they try to jack up that front or the back it's going to also set off those sensors too and then the secure lock passive and theft system basically means it's going to lock that steering wheel someone gets in there they're trying to start the vehicle um, then it will not allow them to start the vehicle, but the alarm will go off anyway, right? So hopefully they won't even get to that position. So so that's all the safety features I wanted to talk about. Let's talk about the, the distinct styling you get when you go to the Lariat Tram. So let's talk about the exterior. And first I want to talk about colors. I tend to forget about that. I always go to the exterior section and, and go totally pass over the colors. So let's talk about the colors for this year. Uh, we do have a colors, a couple colors that are no longer available. Uh, Smoke Quartz uh, is not available this year. Um, uh, there's another, I can't remember all the colors. Uh, there are Atlas Blue, I believe, is not available this year. So let's talk about some of these. You do have the Gate Black Metallic that's available this year. Uh, you do have the Antimatter Blue, which looks a little darker than this in person. So it's going to be, you know, in the shady situations like overcast, like it is there, it would almost look a black color. And then it's a very dark blue. So this, to me, almost looks like Atlas blue, but the antimatter blue is going to be a darker blue than that, just so you're aware of that. You do have the carbonized gray. It also is a little darker than that. 
Um, and then you do have your conic silver again, a little darker than that. Maybe my screen's off or something. <laughs> and then you do have the Oxford white, pretty accurate there. You do have the, uh, this is a cost color. You do have rapid red metallic tinted clear coat. So you, it is uh, $500 for that one. So you have that tinted clear coat on the vehicle. So that one there. And then you do have the stone gray uh, color. So that is also available as it was last year. So these are all last year colors here. And then you do have on here, click on that. There we go. Star white metallic tricoat, which is not a color available in the other trims. And it's a it's an extra cost color because it is a tricoat there. And uh, we didn't see that in the Pro or the XLT uh, versions. Uh, available on the lariat trim you do have avalanche that is a new color for this year so typically it's a very light tan uh, very light tan a beautiful color uh, so a lot of people think it kind of almost looks like a cactus gray color um, but a very beautiful color and then we do have the zero gray metallic tricoat which is also uh, since the tricoat is an 800 dollars cost color it looks almost a bluish hue to here uh, but with a gray i would think it has more of a grayish um, you know tint to it than anything but there's your colors for this year let's move on down to the next year uh, features and we'll you kind of use these to kind of give us an example of what everything looks like there there you go so in fact um how does that look i'm actually blocking up some of the bumper there so let's actually go back just a little bit so there we go so that way how's that look there you go you can see a little bit better there so looking at here in the front you will have of course the power frunk that that front trunk area there that does open up for you with a power up and down for the front hood uh so real nice i will tell you if you first time using this this is just like any other front uh any other hood that where it wants to release but because it doesn't want that to release accidentally uh, it catches and then it'll go up so you got to give it a second um so it'll like release and then it gives it a couple seconds and then it'll power on up so just just so you know that inside of that that front area you will have a large uh area to be able to, to put things in cargo you have 400 liters of cargo in there and you can carry up to 400 pounds of cargo in the front area as well so really nice having that and you do have inside outlets 2.4 kilowatts of pro power on board including four 120 volt outlets and two usb ports a usb type a and type c in there as well on the lariat trim you do get a cargo net so that way that's going to come standard it's optional on the pro and xlt standard on the lariat trim so you can put things in there so they won't roll around in that cargo area if there's a little bit smaller talk about the different grill up here you do have the a premium and geometric gray ion satin metallic grill up here so there you go kind of looks like that and you and when you go up to this actually go up to xlt trim you get the signature lighting that goes up and around the headlights but also across the hood so a little distinct look uh to this then you get on like the pro version xlt lyric get the front led light up here uh, you also get the body colored bumpers uh, right here so you can kind of see that's body colored there as well as the front uh, fascia that's right below the lights so pretty cool you get do get black tow hooks up here on the front you also are getting front sensing system that's a nice upgrade for the lariat tram so front and rear sensing so pretty much a perimeter sensing system there you will get 360 degree camera as well so there's a camera underneath the grill the mirrors and behind so you can see completely around the vehicle comes in real handy when you're backing up be able to see all the way around you you can even set up different camera angles and views if you want to see the front camera you can turn on the front camera if you want to see the back you want to see a closer up of the back you can even see the smart hitch we'll talk about in a little bit as well as a camera in the in the back of the bed we'll actually normally talk about that when we get to the back so i gave you a little preview there but you can have all kinds of camera systems in the vehicle for your headlights led projector headlights they're automatic headlights which means they'll come on automatically when it gets dark shut off when it gets light when you have it in the auto setting and you'll get dynamic bending headlights so that means it's going to light up where you turn so if you're turning left it's going to light up to the left so it's going to light up your intended path is what i like to say and you do have daytime running lights you can configure those to be on during the daytime or not uh, it's your choice and you can have those i believe on the configurable daytime running lights it's using these led lights but i'm not sure on that so there you go that's all the front uh, features let's move this around to the side all right so moving around to the side of the vehicle here uh so we're going to use this view here 
um, but it will uh, might click over to the other view here in just a little bit. The, you do uh, here on the side get the 20 inch wheels. So you go up to 20 inch wheels. Uh, they are the dark carbonized gray alloy wheel. That is the optional wheel on the on the XLT. Um, what is it? The 312A package. Uh, that is going to be optional on this one. Um, that's optional on that one. It's standard on the Lariat trim. It'll also come with all season tires as well. Uh, for that one tire pressure monitoring system as well so it monitors the, the how much air you have in all four of those tires lets you know if they get off balance you also get four wheel disc brakes with abs and you're going to get the regenerative braking so that means if you're you know when you're slowing down it's going to help regenerate some of that that power back into your batteries uh, which helps you get the longevity of your distance there so make sure you're using that regenerative braking early so that you can regenerate as much power back to those batteries as you can your door handles, you're going to see body colored door handles here. Nice upgrade when you go to Lariat trim. Body colored mirror caps as well there. You're going to get power folding mirrors. So those can fold in, including the auto fold feature. So when you when you lock it, they're going to fold in. Actually, it doesn't mention auto fold, so that might be part of the uh, package. Uh, nope, it's going to shoot, be included in this one as well because I, <laughs> I have a Lariat trim, so I know mine auto fold in when I lock the vehicle, which is nice. Power heated glass for the mirror face, so it'll you know defrost any ice that's on there uh, when you have the defrost on. Turn signal indicators on the outside as well. They're right over here. Actually, let's go to a different view. Well, you can't really see it here. So turn signal indicators on the outside of that mirror. Uh, you also get auto dimming a mirror too, and you're going to get memory for the mirror. So the, when you use your driver memory, it's going to memorize the position of your mirror for that driver as well as part of the driver memory. You have HID security approach lights. They'll light up the ground beside the vehicle. Um, it does have the pro approach detection. So they're going to, of course, turn those lights on so you can see as you're kind of approaching the vehicle. And also body colored uh, skull caps, as we mentioned, and LED spotlights too. So you have two switches inside, one for the left and the right. You can click that on, and it casts the spotlight out to the side, also used as part of the zone lighting, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. So you go around over here, and we go around to the side here. We're getting towards the back. You do have intelligent access with approach detection, as I mentioned. So uh, intelligent access just allows you to keep that key fob in your pocket, walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going kind of like to unlock the vehicle, like get in and out, even lock it by pressing the, the knobs on any of the doors, not just the front doors, which is really nice. I like that feature because there's times where I get my bag out of the back seat, and that's where I usually put it and shut that door. And I want to just be able to lock it there without having to go to the front door. So it's kind of nice. Also, you do have security code, keyless entry keypad on the door too. That just allows you to be able to set your own personal code. Get in and out if you don't have the keys on you uh, and just be able to use that, uh, which makes it real handy right there for you. Running boards. So you will see these running boards on the side. They are carbon black fixed. They are extended, means they're six inches wide uh, with enhanced lighting. So there's lights here on the back of them. So real nice to be able to see those as you're approaching on the vehicle there and used also in your zone lighting. So those are all your uh, side features, except for one thing they don't mention on the order guide is the... the uh, lightning logo here on the side of the bench looks real cool i think that's grabber blue on the outside with black on on top of their raised letters pretty cool and how those look there on the side and you also get privacy glass in these back windows and the back glass too which i think we're going to be talking about when we get to the rear but i want to make sure i highlighted that in the vehicle too so let's talk about the exterior rear features here and there's quite a few here uh, for this now looking on the back of that uh uh, you can see the center high mounted stoplight, which is LED. So LED, uh, I call it the third brake light in a sense, but really you have a lot more than three. <laughs> but you're going to have the uh, your brake light up here. Also, the LED lights on the outside for the cab, so you can see inside the cab a little bit easier. Also, you have power sliding rear window here with rear defrost. And, of course, your privacy glass, as we mentioned, already on that back glass. You will see on the back, you're going to see the uh, LED taillights here, but also LED signature lighting across the bed and special lighting right here as well. So it looks real, real sharp on the vehicle. Uh, I, I've got to admit, one of the main reasons I wanted to go Lariat trim was I wanted that LED light back here as well. <laughs> Just a small thing. Uh, there are other features, of course, that pulled me in uh, to the Lariat trim, but uh, I like that that's an upgrade. You do not see that on the Pro or your XLT trim. 
you will see body color door handle uh, right up there. So that's where you would hit it for the power uh, tailgate, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. And you do get body colored bumpers back here, reverse sensing as we talked about already. Class four receiver hitch with four pin and seven pin wiring capabilities, trailer sway control as well. And you get the smart trailer tow connector. So as you're backing up, you press the button, the camera button, and it'll go, it takes you to an angle right onto the trailer hitch. So you can see that you're right on the hitch. Uh, so that way you don't need to need somebody to back up to those conventional trailers. Uh, so also you do get uh, the spare tire, which is underneath the frame uh, is an 18 inch aluminum spare tire. And you, of course you come with the jack. Jack will be located behind the passenger seat, uh, rear passenger seat, side seat. Uh, so that way you'd be able to lower that spare tire using that little in the little spot right there with a the key you'd have to open that up and unlock it so that that way people can't get that out of there but that's how you would lower that down you will get power tailgate so that's power down and power up for the tailgate you can use the button or you can use your remote as well either way you also get the tailgate step with the work surface so tailgate step just allows you to pull that step out of the top of the the uh, tailgate itself and be able to get in the, the truck a little bit easier and the work surface on top makes it real nice. It has a ruler on there, spots for little, uh, your pencils and such for marking things. You even have some clamp spots for in the tailgate itself. So that way you can clamp down those boards. You could saw right off of it, that kind of stuff, drill, whatever you need to right there. Inside the pickup box, you'll have four pickup tie downs that are towards the bottom, uh, two on the front and two in the back. So you can tie things down in there. You also get the box link system with four lockable cleats that come with it. And those go into position so you can lock those in. You can use those for different things, tying things down, or uh, they're supposed to, those cleats are supposed to be used for any, if you want any kind of stowable ramps to put on there. And then the box link system is used for any bed dividers and different things like that, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Pro Power on board, you're going to get 7.2 kilowatt of Pro Power on board in the, the bed of the truck. So it's in two different uh, setups and two different zones. So I have an A and a B. Uh, and so you're going to have two outlets on the A two 110 outlets on the B, and you're gonna have a 240 volt that uses both the A and the B back there to be able to power those different devices and power tools and different things like that. And you're gonna have the LED box lighting, so box lighting inside the box with your zone lighting. So that way you're gonna be able to see completely around the vehicle with that lights. So just put those lights on, you can pick a front, a rear side zones, or you can pick all your zones. What's really cool is you can turn those on in your center stack screen, but you can also do it with your app as well. So that's really cool on that feature. So let's move inside now. Let's talk about some of the interior features now in the Lariat trim. Okay, let's move into the interior of the uh, the vehicle here. And this is where you do see uh, several cool updates uh, when you go to the Lariat trim here. Now, first of all, just like the Pro and XLT version, you do get the airbags. Let's talk about that. You will get the, uh, I'll give you the view here. You do have dual stage airbags. So a driver and front passenger, you're going to have that airbag. Deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You also do get driver and passenger side impact airbags. Deploys an airbag from the side of the seat if they have a side collision where they get hit. You also do have the safety canopy airbags. It deploys an airbag from the side protecting from with a rollover sensor to protect from any uh, glass, breaking glass and such if you have that rollover situation in the vehicle there. Now for the carpet, you do have carpeted flooring with carpeted match just on, like in the XLT version. You do get front and rear scuff plates as well, getting in to help protect uh, the, the paint and such uh, on the vehicle. And you do get illuminated entry with the ambient lighting. Now, it will be the ice blue lighting, but it does light up the footwells, uh, the uh, door handles, I believe, and uh, the cup holders, that kind of stuff in the vehicle. Probably not the cup holders, but at least uh, down below in the footwell, it's going to be ice blue for the vehicle and illuminated lighting as well for these lights. It's going to turn those on when you open it up. Excuse me. Also for the seats, you do get your leather seats here. They are the medium dark slate gray leather seats. So it's kind of a dark gray and a light gray in the middle. I like them. Uh, pretty good little color. And of course, you get upgraded with the leather seats here. And you're going to get the front bucket seats with the flow through console with the shifter, the floor shifter there. Of course, that's standard on all versions of your Lightning. The driver's seat is going to be a 10-way power driver's seat with power lumbar driver memory that memorizes your, your seat the mirrors your power adjustable pedals uh and i believe all those features yeah 
Uh, so you know, it does memorize all those. The mirrors, the power decibel pedals, and your seat, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit here. The passenger seat, you can see there, is a, they're called a multi-adjustable power passenger seat. It looks like front and back, the power recline, power lumbar is there. Um, not sure if it's going to help, uh, you know, power up. Probably usually at least the seat cushion can come up and down. Sometimes you have a multi for that seat cushion. And you're going to have heated and ventilated front seats. So heated seats uh, will go along with your remote start settings. Ventilated means it's going to pull air through the seat, keeping it cooled off. And then you do have for this console, interior work surface. So you can fold that console down. And then that uh, the console itself, uh, or the, the shifter down, I should say, and then the console itself folds it down into a flat surface. So that way you can work right off of it if you need to uh, when you have the vehicle in park, of course. For the rear seat, 60-40 split bench seat. That means that that's split right through here. And that means you can um, pull those seat cushions up, giving you some extra storage there. They will have under, under seat storage for this. Uh, about that much uh, storage underneath to be able to put some smaller things in under there. You do have a flip down uh, armrest for the middle seat uh, with some cup holders in there. So you can uh, lay those down. And then on the back of the seat cushion, you're gonna have USB port and I uh, believe a PowerPoint and an outlet behind the console as well as a couple vents back there too. And then a couple cup holders on the top of the console uh, that are kind of towards the back. Now moving inside, let's go ahead and move this back around to this side. You will get your um, power windows and power locks. The power windows are going to get power uh, one touch for the front two windows. means you just hard press it down and it's going to go down. You don't have to hold them as well as come up with those front windows. And then you're going to have power locks with auto lock, which means when you start moving over a certain speed, it's going to automatically lock the doors for you. Power adjustable pedals with memory, as I mentioned, allows you to bring those pedals uh, here forward and back. And then also you're going to have the 12 inch digital productivity screen. So you can see that there. I like it, it has a speedometer over there on the right side. On the left, it has your battery meter on that, uh, the right side of that dial. And on the left side, it shows you as you're starting to regenerate that battery, it shows you that as well. So I love the display, uh, looks really nice on the vehicle. Get compass display, outside temperature display, everything right there. You're going to get a leather wrapped, uh, a black leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So heated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, all used with the remote start settings. On the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel as well. So pull the lever underneath, it'll go up and down, forward and back. Uh, you're going to see up here going to be the con controls for your adaptive, the intelligent adaptive cruise control on the left side with your volume controls underneath that little s silver button there or silver bar and then on the right side those uh, buttons at the top are going to control your productivity screen up there and then on the bottom are your um your pre-settings for your radio and such right there as well as your bluetooth controls if you want to use it that way and then don't forget yeah intelligent adaptive cruise control and then you do have push button start so it's located behind the steering wheel can't really see it from this angle uh, so you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start the vehicle which is a really nice feature to have Dual zone climate control, so it actually is controlled on this screen. So let's talk about it. 15 and a half inch portrait style Seek 4A screen right there. Your climate controls are right there around your dial. So there's one dial and that really just controls your radio. That's pretty much all it controls. Uh, your volume up and down, the power button's in the middle. Climate control is right there and you can just use that touch screen to be able to control your, your heated and cooled seats uh, right there as well as your, your temperature for both pass and driver and front passenger uh, right there. And then this does have the Sync 4A is gonna give you that screen with the dashboards. Uh, so the individual dashboards right here. So they're right below that second row right there. Those are dashboards. So most frequently used apps and such that you've had are gonna be able to go through those. You can scroll around through those. I like that. And then you're gonna see that whatever is activated, whether it be in this case, you know, you have your uh, navigation right there you will have that because this does have the connected navigation system here uh, uh, built in navigation for a three-year trial membership for that um, then after that you'll have to sign up conversational voice commands digital owner's manual in there apple carplay android auto as well with that i love using mine it's the wireless for both of those uh, for this version Personal profiles, one of my favorites. So um, personal profiles works along with your memory settings and your key fob. So when I get in the vehicle, it's gonna set my seat where I had it. It's gonna set my, uh, my radio where I had the radio and my climate where I had the climate. I love that. If my wife gets in and she moves the climate and the radio to other stations and the seat, uh, when she gets in, it's gonna, and she if she has a personal profile set up, 
it'll change it to her settings, um, which is really cool. Um, and then it does have the, the Sirius XM satellite radio with the 360L. Um, you do get B&O audio sound system, Bang & Olufsen with eight speakers, including a subwoofer, HD radio as well. Uh, so you're set up pretty well here. Uh, and for your USB ports, you're going to have a 110 outlet over there, and you, I believe you have a PowerPoint there. Inside the media hub, you're going to have two more USB ports as well as inside the console. So <laughs> plenty of devices, what, two outlets and six USB ports between the front and the rear seats in the cab, which is pretty cool there. Now, let's see. Also, you get the uh, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, means that if you want to set up the subscription, you can set your vehicle as a hotspot. So everybody can connect their phone to your, uh, to your uh, vehicle to get internet. Now, you do have to, again, set up that service with AT&T if you want that. Uh, and right now, there's a lot of vehicles that's been taken away. Uh, still have the benefit for the Ford Pass Connect uh, with embedded modem, but you wouldn't be able to use your vehicle as a Wi-Fi hotspot. But right now, it's listed on the order guide of having that for the uh, the F-150 Lightning. Also, the Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Uh, so you can unlock, lock your vehicle. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Schedule remote start times. Uh, you can even locate your vehicle. Um, you can see, you know, what's really cool on this and with the with the Lightning is you can see the, the state of charge of your, your vehicle. Uh, how much percentage you have uh, you can up, set up departure time so if you have your vehicle plugged into your charger at night and you want to pre cool off the vehicle and everything you can do that while you're plugged in so you're not using the battery power so when you leave you have the battery that you wanted when you left um, and then you can also schedule charge times through that through your app as well power your trip so you can look at your trip right there and locate those uh, charging stations and such uh, you can even pay for the charging stations uh, off your app as well. I have mine set up too. So uh, really nice and how the Ford Pass app works and the zone lighting through that as well. So a lot of features you can activate in, uh, on the Lightning that you don't see with other vehicles by using that Ford Pass app. So um, definitely wanna make sure you connect that and be using that app because there's a lot of features within there. All right, now let's talk about the high equipment group. That is the 511A and you're not seeing it here. So to get to that, because it requires the that it's included with this is extended range battery you go back to models here and then click the extended range you can see where that price automatically goes to so you're getting the extended range battery and you're getting the 811 or the eight the 511a equipment with that so let's start our build here and then kind of go through some of this uh so now going down here to the packages uh it is going to show in some things there is actually something that's listed here that is not a part of it so i'm going to use my notes instead of this uh this information but let's click this up and let you show now when you go to the 511a this is where you're going to get your extended range battery so that's 131 kilowatt per hour uh extended range high voltage battery uh so you're going to get that's included in this you're going to also along with that get the 80 amp uh, Ford Charge Station Pro Charger. So they will ship that to you. You don't have to pay for that. You get that included. You will have to pay to have it installed. Uh, so keep that in mind. But you are going to get that 80 amp charger included with this here too. And you're going to also get this uh, this Copilot 360 Active 2.0 with Blue Cruise and phone as a key. So what's really cool about this uh, is it's not not listing one other thing you get with this. You get the Blue Cruise. That's your hands-free driving. So if you have the adaptive cruise and such, intelligent adaptive cruise, you can be able to use everything else. It keeps you in the center of your lane, and you can uh, a lot of those features. It just won't be able to take your hands off the steering wheel, right? With the Blue Cruise on certain highways, you are going to be able to take your hands off the steering wheel, and it'll uh, drive the vehicle. Uh, you have to be paying attention the entire time. Uh, if you take your hand, eyes off the road, it'll take you tell you to take control of the wheel and and to keep alerting you and bothering you with that so you may need to make sure you're paying attention and watching the road also with this you're going to get the active park assist 2.0 that allows you to to basically it's going to help you with parallel parking reverse perpendicular park and park out of the vehicle it controls the steering even the brakes i believe and the, and the gas and such uh so that's a pretty cool system there that allows you to do that and uh, even helps you find those parking spaces there too. And then phone is a key. That allows you to be able to connect your phone to the vehicle using that Ford Pass app. So it allows you to be able to set up your phone as a key and allows you to be able to unlock the lock as long as you have your key on you, which is really cool to have. Now this was supposed to be available last year as well. And I have the Lariat trim and I don't have that on my app. So I'm still trying to figure that part out, but it's showing it on the order guide for 23 model year as well. And uh, I believe that was a note for last year too. 
Uh, so maybe that's just a 23 upgrade. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I'm just not exactly sure how to set that up, but we'll figure it out for you here. Also, you get the tow technology package is also included with this too. So uh, now part of the Lariat, you already get the 360 degree cameras and you also already get the um, forward collision warning as or forward sensing system, I should say, as a part that's standard on the Lariat trim. So you're all going to have that equipment uh, as part of this package. But you're also going to get the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. That's that dial that he's uh, turning there in the picture that you control the trailer and the steering wheel does itself. So you just all you got to do is turn that dial to control your trailer, park it where you need to, and the, the vehicle will do the steering. Also, you do have the integrated trailer brake controller. So that's uh, the uh, right down there. So that way you can control the brake of the trailer. So in those uh, situations, you can do that instead of using the, the, all the brakes from your vehicle. And you can also use the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist is included here. And you get the trailer reverse guidance. So that allows you to be able to see uh, camera angles down on the side of those, those uh, cam the vehicle or the trailer, I should say. So that makes it a little bit easier to park the vehicle and uh, reverse and guidance, just like it says right there. Now you also see on here, it says onboard scales and smart hitch. That was normally included last year and they're putting it in here because maybe they'll bring it back. But because of chip shortages, you will not have access to the onboard scales or smart hitch because you will have to add the removal. Somebody said, well, as long as you don't add the removal, you're going to get it. No, you won't. Uh, it is required is mentioned in here is a required option at this time that might be taken off, but you will have to add that as optional equipment to get it scheduled. So you can probably leave it off if you want to on your order and it just won't get scheduled. Um, but if you want it scheduled, you're going to have to take those off of your vehicle. So just keep that in mind as well. A couple other things you get as part of the 511A outside of those two packages. Again, you get the uh, you're getting the Copilot 360 Active 2.0, the Tow Tech Package Extended Range, the Pro Charger. You're also getting a twin panel moonroof as well included in this package. So nice power sunshade on that, and that uh, two pieces of glass, and the front one will open up for you. You're also getting the uh, second row heated seats that's located down here. So those back out outbound seats will have the heated feature as well. Those buttons will be behind the console. You're going to get rain sensing wiper as well it's not included in here it's not mentioning it but rain sensing wipers as well if you have one of those intermittent settings it starts to rain it's going to start turning those wipers on uh if it starts to rain harder it's you just they just wipe faster so you're going to have that as well also get the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel with the memory so it'll up and down forward and back electronically and it, it also included the memory along with your power adjustable pedals your power mirrors and your power driver's seat all included with the memory features. Now in here, it does mention the, the partitioned lockable fold flat rear storage. That is not included. That was included last year. This year it's showing it as optional equipment. So I wanted to mention that my vehicle has a partition lockable full flat storage. Um, so it was included last year, but this year it is showing as an option on the order guide. So may need to cur uh, Ford may need to correct that. Also in here, you do have the um, other option that is not listed. Uh, rain sensing wipers was not listed as we uh, corrected that already in here. So rain sensing wipers instead of the partition lockable full flat storage are the two differences there and within that package. So that's uh, everything included in the 511A. Biggest thing is that extended range battery. Now let's talk about a couple packages uh, that are available. Now, just to let you know that tow tech package was included in the 511A, but is also optional on the 510A. So if you're a standard range 510A and you want the tow tech package, you can add it to your vehicle. Uh, it is going to include the same features we already talked about. Of course, 360 uh, camera is already included in Lariat trim, as well as the front sensing system. But you will get the Tro uh, Prather Pro Trailer <laughs> Backup Assist. The Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, the Trailer Brake Controller, Trailer Reverse Guidance, and you'll have to remove the Onboard Scales and Smart Hitch Removal option added to that uh, for the vehicle, so you probably won't have that on there. So if you want that package, uh, you can you get all those things. And again, that is available as optional equipment on the 510A, but is included in the 511A. Now let's talk about the Max Trailer Tow Package. So this package is $1,000 uh, and is available on the 510A or 511A. So it's not included on either one of those packages, but it's optional for you. What are you going to get with this? This is where you're going to be able to go a little bit further in how much you can tow the vehicle in, in a way of, of towing capabilities. So if you have the standard range uh, a battery, 
then you're going to be able to tow 5,000 pounds as the max trailer as the trailer tow capacity. If you add this package to that, to the standard range, it's going to take it to 7,500 pounds. The extended range battery will come with 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. And if you add this package, it's going to give you 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. So it does include increase the rate, the, the capacity rating there. And a lot of people ask, well, what do you get as part of this package? You get extra cooling fans. So you, it doubles the amount of cooling. So of the cooling fans for the uh, motors and the batteries. So it cools off both of those, as it, as it mentions here. Adds additional cooling hardware on the battery and electric motors to allow increased towing capability uh, rating. So you're getting that. Uh, so just so you know that, um, that does require the 9.6 kilowatt pro power on board, already standard on the Lariat trim. So you don't have to worry about that, but that's going to increase your towing capacity. I put that on my build because even though I don't plan to tow 10,000 pounds, because I want the increased cooling fans. I want the double cooling fan special in the summertime. I want that. So that's why I went ahead and elected to go with that package. But that is again, optional on the 510A or 511A. Now there is one other package that is available and it's not listed with the packages. So it's a little bit deceiving here. If you go to the interior features, uh, as I'm clicking up here, uh, down here, you can see the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0 with the tow tech package it mentions. Not sure about that one. Um, so it's just showing the tow tech package here. Uh, again, I think that might be a typo there. Um, does it require the tow tech? Is it tow tech? Uh, nope. Um, so I'm not sure why it's it's requiring that. It should not be. According to the order guide, there is no requirement of adding the tow tech package. So that might be something they need to correct here. So I'm finding a couple errors here as we go through this for them uh, to correct. But the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0, we've talked about it. Get you the Blue Cruise. Get you the Active Park Assist 2.0. Phone is a key. That is available on the 510A. So if you're going, man, I want that, that Blue Cruise. Um, but I don't need the extended battery, whatever it might be. Uh, you don't want that 511A, so you can go 510A, standard battery, add the Blue Cruise if you want to, or add the Active 2.0 uh, features, and that is available. But it, but it is listed down here with the uh, the features under the interior features, not listed with the packages for some reason. Uh, so that is something that can be added to your vehicle. So now we're going to talk about standalone options in here, and uh, there's quite a few to choose from here. And I want to start up here with the charging uh, equipment in here, because the the mobile power cord is optional now. So it's a $500 option. Uh, I don't know why they already check it, um, but it's $500 option here. And that uh, does show that as optional on either the 510 or 511A. Now we're gonna go through these equipment and it's just like with that one there, we're gonna go through of, you know, what are factory installed options and what are dealer installed options um, and then some accessories here. So uh, by the way that's going to work is any of the factory installed options I'm going to mention are things that you will have to get at the factory if you want those put on it. They're not really accessories and such. And then there are some that are called dealer installed options, which means the factory doesn't put them on. They'll mail them to the to the dealer when they ship out the vehicle and they'll be at the dealership when your vehicle arrives and the dealer would install those uh, parts uh, and those options onto your vehicle. And many times those dealer installed options are things you can get later. So we'll talk about those as we break those down. And then some of the Ford accessories are put on at the factory, but I'm not sure why they list them as under the Ford accessories. Uh, maybe because the Ford accessories are things that you don't have to get at the factory, but if you do, the, the factory does install them. So we'll talk about those as well. Just a few of those in there too. So as we break those down, so that power cord will be coming with your vehicle from the factory. If that's the way you uh, order that, uh, right there too. Um, now moving on down, we'll talk about a couple, uh, some other options. One of them is your tire. So I'm going to mark these off to make sure we get everything. Cause again, the order guides, the building price isn't hundred percent accurate here. It is missing a couple things. Um, so we do have the all terrain tire. So you can, if you want, when you go to the 20 inch wheel, it automatically gives an all season tire, uh, whether it be on this one, or even we notice on the XLT with the, uh, with the upgraded XLT package. Uh, but on this one here, you can get the all-terrain tire. It's $150. That's I went with that option for mine. So you can upgrade for the all-terrain tires there. And that is a factory installed option. So you'd want to go ahead and put that on your build if you want to do that. Um, and that's really the, uh, the main exterior factory installed option that's listed. Um, now you also do have these bed dividers. So the bed divider is something that can be, is a dealer installed option. So 
um, make sure, yep, I am right. That is a dealer installed option. So that won't be put on at the factory. It'll be shipped to the dealer, dealership will install it. Does use the box link system for that. Um, so you can see there it's using those uh, openings there for those uh, bed dividers. So you can put one in two different spots there again. Uh, that is, it even mentions in here, dealer installed options. So you, you know when you see these, hey, it says dealer installed options. Now, that is not available with your bed mats, your stowable loading ramps, and it's not available with your pivot storage box, uh, which we'll get to in just a little bit. So, uh, And then you do have these the two different aluminum cross bed um, toolboxes. So these are, this in here is a Defend, Defender series, and uh, that toolbox there, so you can get that added. That is a dealer uh, that is a ford accessory so it will be put on at the factory uh, but again something you can get later through ford accessories and install it yourself or have your dealer install it for you um, and you can do that now this is not available with your plastic uh, drop-in bed liner from the factory um, and not available with your stowable loading ramps it does say xlt only which actually wasn't listed under xlt order guide but anyway you uh, a couple different uh, things that you're it's not available with so i think Probably the reason is because they don't put the drop-in liner when they put that box on, and that's why it's not compatible. Because if you get the drop-in liner, you should be able to put this on there because I think it just bolts down to the to the bed rail. So I don't know how that would interfere into the drop-in liner. So again, can be getting you can get that through Ford Accessories and add it to your vehicle later. The second option is this premium aluminum cross bed um, as well. It looks just a little different style, same cost. Um, and again, not available with the plastic drop-in liner or those loading ramps, just so you're aware of those. Um, and then you do have the plastic drop-in liner. So this is here. Uh, you do have that, uh, that drop-in liner. I'm not a big fan of the drop-in liners, but you can add this to your vehicle um, with the plastic drop-in liner. That is done at the factory. It is listed as an accessory. Uh, and the, the reason they list as an accessory is that it can be, you can get that afterwards if you want to. And doesn't it, if you want that later you can we'll be able to get that from your dealer later if you want to but if you do get it on your build the factory will install it this the tough bed spray and liner so this one here is that basically uh, a lot of people get this uh, spray and bed liner here uh, is available is optional is a uh, an accessory listed and again just like with this one uh, most dealerships or there's independent contractors out there that can do a spray and liner but if you do get this on your build at the factory the factory will install this and spray the liner i will tell you this has been something that's been holding up a lot of builds so if you don't want to stop you want to get yours as quick as possible do not include the spray and bed liner that would be that would just be something i would say the bed mat so the bed mat as you can see there kind of just lays across the bottom um is not available with your drop-in liner or your bed divider or your bed tray liner um is available with your spraying liner as you notice there so that is uh, that bed mat is something that is a dealer installed option so if you do get it again it's going to be shipped to the dealership ahead of time as it says right there and the dealer would put that in your truck then you have this down here this is the it calls it individual uh, individual um, trailer tire monitoring system but it's uh, basically it's a customer placed trailer camera so that's a camera that's going to go on your trailer which is kind of cool it does require to have the tow tech package on it on to be able to use it because it needs that 360 degree camera system um, but it is a dealer installed option so again really it's a personally installed option but it's going to be shipped to the dealer and the dealer would give that to you because you're going to be placing it on the vehicle the, the trailer yourself unless you take the trailer out to the dealership and then they can do that so uh, just so you know that um, that is uh, listed under the dealer installed options there scrolling on down storage box the right hand pivot by undercover it doesn't show an image of this one um, so that basically is a little uh, toolbox that can swivel in and out on the right hand side Again, that is not compatible uh, with your bed divider, right? Uh, with your bed divider and bed divider. <laughs> your bed divider, it's not available with um, your, I don't know if it's available with your drop-in liner either. Let me look at my notes here because they don't have it in here. So not available with your bed divider or your tonneau covers either. So I probably shouldn't look. Bed divider is not available with your hard or retractable bed covers either, it says from the factory. So just so, uh, something to note, they didn't mention in here because they're not actually including the tonneau covers on the building price. Uh, so it is in my notes as well. So that bed divider is the same way, um, as well as the bed mat. I'm not sure why a bed mat would have a problem with the box covers, but uh, that is something else you want to think about. So, And then the bed tray. Now, it's actually showing it to look like the bed mat. 
so I'm not sure if it's different or not, but that bed tray is also not available with either of you two bed liners and uh, not available with your pivot pickup box either or your bed mat. So uh, I think it actually comes up on the side so that way, you know, it doesn't, uh, I don't know, more probably like an all weather mat does where it kind of comes up a tray like would be my, my thinking. Again, that's going to come to the dealership and the dealership would install it. And not available, as you can see, with your spray, either with your spray liners, bed mat, or your pivot box, uh, storage box, because it probably interferes in the swinging of that into the vehicle. And then you have a couple different cargo nets. You have one that's a horizontal cargo net. That's going to go down in, in your bed back there and go across and use those four tie downs to position it. So if you have cargo in there, you don't want them to fly out. You put the cargo in there, put the net down, and it kind of helps keep those things down. Uh, so that's something that's available. And that's a dealer installed option, not available with your bed divider, by the way. And then you have this vertical one that will go in your front area, your front trunk area. And again, that will be shipped ahead of time. And actually, hold on a second. thought we mentioned that as being a standard equipment on the front yes cargo net is actually standard equipment there on the front so i'm not sure why it's listed in here uh so another little error i think that we found on the building price here uh, so that should be included um it says available on all of them but that was included with mine on the 511a and i think it's standard we mentioned the cargo net in there uh so that's something they probably need to take off the building price that that's going to be standard you shouldn't have to add that to your vehicle you have the wheel locking kit as well so that is something that can be added to your vehicle it is a dealer installed option so again ship to the dealer ahead of time um, so just keep that in mind and um, the dealership would install that for you available on either of your equipment groups and i actually should be looking at that because most everything here is but there is a one there that is oh it does require a certain trim or a certain package to get it now moving down to uh, let me look at some of the extra options there's a couple here that are listed that are not on the building price um one of them is when i'm speaking of running boards here's thing makes me think of this is the power deployable running boards that is a late availability item. I don't even think it's available in 22 yet. I thought about putting it on mine. So instead of the, the, the running boards that are on there, you can get power deployable running boards. Um, and um, with the black accent, it says, but it's a late availability. It does require to have the 511A to order that. Um, probably would hold up your bill because it is a late availability item. So just keep that in mind. Also, the front license plate bracket. If you're in a state that doesn't require a front license plate bracket, it is an optional equipment. You might want to put that on there. If you're ordering out, out of state, an out of state dealer, not all dealers are required to have a front license plate. So you may want to make sure that they have that on there if you are a state, uh, if you're in a state that requires a front license plate bracket. Um, <clears throat> and then some other exterior options that aren't listed, but are listed on the order guide is available to order. And that is your pickup box covers, your tonneau covers. Uh, you, there is a uh, aluminum, <clears throat> let's see, there is a, <clears throat> should say hard folding bed cover. There's a soft folding bed cover and there's a retractable bed cover. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, keep in mind, those are not available with your aluminum toolboxes, not available with your drop in bed liners for some reason um and uh probably because they feel like that might get in the way of the the can um, to be able to bolt on um but everything else it says it's available with but i also don't think it's available with uh, some other things too uh for some reason the bed dividers i was thinking it showed that on here too bed dividers it says not available with your hard retractable bed covers so uh, just keep that in mind some of those may if you choose those that might be why because there might be some other option on your build that's affecting it. Now let's move to the interior features now. All right, so let's move down to your interior options now. Down here, there is this first aid kit that's available. And again, that's that's an accessory. That's, um, that is gonna come, it'll be put in the, the, the dealer would actually get that, that shipped to the dealership at a time, or you can get that through Ford Accessories. Um, I wouldn't put, order it on your vehicle if I were you. So you do have your floor liners. You have two different options. You have a tray like with or without floor carpeted mats. Uh, that just saves you some money if you want to go that route. And those are actually freestanding options. So they will actually be put in your vehicle at the factory, have a work shipped out. Haven't seen the floor liners hold up any builds uh, yet. So that can be done. And you do have the partition lockable fold flat storage. I'm going to click on this and see what it says here. It does say that it is included in the 511A, but on the order guide, it is not included. So I'm going to get some clarification of this. Um, and I'll put it as a note on this video if I'm incorrect. Uh, but according to the order guide, that is a standalone option on the 5, uh, 510A or 511A. 
uh, and it's not showing as standard equipment. So I uh, might have to see if they get some clarification and then update that. Um, but I'm showing it as an optional equipment according to the order guide here. So we'll get some clarification on that. And uh, if put it as a pinned comment uh, either way when I find out that information. Um, and then down below here, uh, the Ford Copilot, of course, the active. I did see that. There's two different ones. So when you get the 511A, it automatically will check mark this uh, with the tow package because you get both of those in that package. That's why it's separated out. So, again, that's uh, an, a package that you can get, the active 2.0. Uh, but it's listed down here in the interior options. And then you have the console vault. <laughs> well, actually, it's an in-vehicle safe uh by console vault and so that's pretty cool um and it it does go in that console area and that's real nice it is a dealer installed option so again would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time the dealership would install that into your vehicle um and so that's uh that's uh, another way another option for you if you want to keep some things real safe in there you can do that as well so those are all your interior options so we've done the interior and exterior options now uh, and let's cover a couple other uh, details you might think about on your vehicle too now, I normally don't include any kind of fleet options on, on uh, my videos, but I'm going to cover a couple that are available uh, for you uh, for those fleet dealers. So if you decide you want to get a Lariat trim vehicle and you want to get a fleet vehicle, then let me go over some of these uh, for you. You do have a backup alarm system, which comes in around the construction sites like to use those. Um, you already have that, uh, that sounder, but this is going to be a more prominent sound for you. So you can add that, uh, the backup alarm system. Also, daytime running lights, you can have that as a non-configurable, which means it's constantly daytime running lights. So again, if you're, uh, you know, you're a worker or something like that, they want to make sure people can see you. Uh, they may, this is something you can add as an optional equipment uh, and be included as well. Now, don't forget, if you get the five, uh, um, you can get the dual motors uh, or the extended battery, I should say, for those with the five 10a so if you 510a fleet dealers can add the extended range battery to their vehicles it's already going to be standard equipment on the 511a but if you want your workers to have that that can be included too a couple other things you have a smart acceleration uh, uh truncation uh, that is also something you can have uh, that just allows for them so that way you know this has so much power that you're not you know they're not exceeding that so they're kind of bringing that back some so that's going to be added to yours especially if you have workers in your vehicle this might be a good thing to add there um so not sure if i even said that word right but <laughs> anyway you do also have speed limiters so you can have one that limits them to go not go any faster than 65 70 or 75 miles an hour again very important if you have people driving your company vehicles you don't want them uh, exceeding and getting speeding tickets or looking bad out there for the rest of your customers and such, seeing them drive their vehicles. This is something you might want to add to your vehicle. And another thing you can do is you can actually delete the Pro Power Charger. The Pro, because uh, on the extended range, it's included. Or if you go extended range, it's supposed to be included as well. If you add this as option, the, the extended range battery as optional equipment, it's going to get that uh, Ford Charge Station Pro. You can delete that. So if you don't need the charger, you already have something set up. Uh, you just don't feel like you need it, uh, you can delete that off of your fleet order as well. So I uh, just want to make sure I include those fleet options for you. Uh, but now let's conclude with a couple ending thoughts here. All right, so that's uh, our complete guide walk around uh, video here. So uh, I think uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we covered all the standard equipment. We covered that equipment group, different packages, standalone options and thoughts on some of those on maybe what things might hold up your build. So hopefully this video did help you out give you some information if you're thinking about you have that reservation in and you're waiting to get that that invite now you kind of know what you can get and how you can order these so hopefully this video does help you out if you did like it helped you out smash that like button i'd really appreciate it if you like this you probably like some of our other content so hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you stay notified next time i have another video uploader to youtube channel uh, and if you're at a dealership maybe you are finding out while you're waiting for your reservation that they're marking the vehicle up uh, over MSRP pricing and you would like to switch over to La MacArthur, we are taking uh, transfers into the into uh, the dealership. Keep in mind, you want to do that before you order your vehicle. You cannot transfer an ordered vehicle over, but you can uh, transfer a reservation. So if you have a reservation now uh, and you have not been invited yet, uh, it's a good time that you can go ahead and transfer if you'd like to. If you want to, uh, if once you get that invite, uh, if you want to do it then uh, as well, you can do that. If you're, if you've extended, I would wait until you get your invite from that extended uh, reservation. 
or order I should say and then go ahead and do it at that time just so there's no hang up there not sure if there would be anyway but just uh, something to keep in mind if you want to do that you can call 1-800-334-4375 and you can transfer it with them uh, you can't uh, dealers cannot transfer those reservations you have to do it on your part with Ford customer support and they can do that for you so Hopefully you uh, did enjoy this video, and don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at LawMacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also find me. My Linktree account is on the screen there, so you can find out different places you can connect with me on social media as well as how you can contact me via email and some of the different places I do some different uh, video content uh, as well on there on YouTube. So check that out. If you have any questions, just let us know. Put them down in the comments as well, and hopefully this video did help you out. If it did... Thank you very much for watching and hope you watch the next one we're going to do on the platinum trim. So until then, we'll see you later.